Hello everyone, welcome to Lotus Road Farming. This is Abby here today. Right now I'm in our workshop. There is a new production line come out from our factory, uh, which is scaffolding, workboard production line. This whole production line combined with hydraulic decoller, servo feeding, leveling, youngly press unit, hydraulic punching unit, feeding guide, reforming port, hydraulic cutting unit. The last one is a run out, run out table. Next, I will introduce the production line part by part. Firstly, let's start from the decoller unit. So the first part is our hydraulic decoller. It's combined with motor, hydraulic pump station, cantilever, and uh, there is a special point on this decoller. It's we combined with the pneumatic disc brake unit. Later, I will show you. So it's hydraulic decoller. The function is motorized tension and the hydraulic expansion. Here is our hydraulic pump station. The motor power is 7.5 kW, we can see here. And here is the pipe of the oil. And here is the pneumatic disc brake machine. Uh, we add this unit to adapt the high speed of the whole production line. Here add some pump, pneumatic pump. And on the top of the decoller is our motor. The load capacity of this hydraulic decoller is five ton. And here, we added the press arm and the training arm to bearing the weight of the coil. Since the coil weight is five ton and the material is galvanized sheet, the thickness is up to 1.8. So it's hard and uh, heavy. The second point why we add this press arm and the trailing arm is we if we do not add this the when the machine running the coil will open. This is the cantilever. The next part I'd like to introduce the feeding unit leveling press and the hydraulic punching unit so here is the secondary port combined with feeding leveling operation cabinet and uh, 250 50 ton press machine and the hydraulic punch machine now please follow my camera i will show you from the leveling unit firstly we can check here is the feeding table with some side roller to regulate the sheet of the regular the width of the sheet. And the width we could adjust by this roller through the this handle. We just rotate it. Then after the feeding table, regular roller is our nine roller leveling unit. As I said before, since the material thickness is up to 1.8, so we add the one gear and the servo motor for this leveling unit. You can see here is our servo feeding, a servo motor, and here is the one gear to adapt the high speed of the machine. Next, I like to show you the 
operation cabinet. After level unit, we can see we also add the pinch roller and the side roller to help the sheet coming to the um, Yangli press machine. And the we can see right now is our punching die for the stamping perforation die on the bottom of the sheet. The whole function is to non-slip when we stand on the scaffolding panel. And uh, same reason, we also add some uh, pinch roller, side roller. When the material come out from the press machine, then coming to the hydraulic punch station, we also add it just to help the sheet coming to next step smoothly. Now let's have a general view of this press machine. It's two, 250 ton and here is a smaller operation cabinet for this unit. We can see it has English on it, so it's easy for us to operate it. Easy and simple. And here is our operation cabinet. The operation cabinet we combined with Siemens program. We can see here it's Siemens, and we could choose English here, then it's English we could operate this level unit, press machine, punching unit by this operation cabinet. And here is our hydraulic uh, press punch machine for the notch. We can see the frame and the cylinder we all use bigger than the others and that is the hydraulic pump station for this unit. We also could see the motor is bigger than normal. The motor power we used 37 kW. I will show you later. Now let's have a careful view of this notch unit. We check the die and the plate and the frame of the press machine. We can see here is the die of the notch, the plate, we all use the wheel machine with milling and the scrub will come out from here. We can see here is the scrub and here is the uh, menu handle. We could rotate it to adjust it, the die. From this side, we can see we add the gear to help it up and down more fluently and the precision will be higher. Here is the way, here is the way which the scrub will come out. And this is the encoder, the sensor. Even the frame of the, uh, the bottom structure of the hydraulic decoder, we all used integrate welded uh, plate to make it more sta stable to support the heavy duty frame and the die. Otherwise, it will easy to broke.
What we can see now is our hydraulic uh, pump station and this is the motor. We can see the motor power is 37 kW. So here is the view of our this feeding, punching, press machine port. Next, I will show you the reforming port. Now I like to introduce the last part of this production line. Also is the main part, it's our forming part. And easy to say, the forming part is combined with casting pillar stands and gearbox transmission and the motor reducer. Next, I will introduce to you one by one with some special points for this reforming part. Firstly, let's start from the feeding unit. We can see the feeding table. We also add some side roller to regulate the sheet of the width of the material. And now we can see the roller and the shaft are chromed plated material. Here is the first special point for this production line. So it will long life of this roller and the shaft. And we can see here the first several roller and the last several roller we add the gear. We add the gear to improve the precision of the final product when it forming. The third special point is we can see on each casting pillar stand we add the skill. We could rotate it to adjust the roller and the shaft. And this is our gearbox. We could adjust the gear easily. We just take out this cap. And add it here. We just add the oil inside. Then we tighten the gap, cap. Here is the motor power. We add another part to put it because the motor is big and the motor power is seven, uh, 37 kW. We can have a look here. It's 37 kW. Also combined a reducer to adapt the high speed of the production line. And during forming, we also add some horizontal vert uh, side roller to make sure the final product is the best. I will show you from another side later. Here is the sensor and encoder. What we can see now is our hydraulic cutting unit. The cutting unit, we all use the wheel machine with a stable frame and a four cylinder to support it. Let's have a view of the cutting plate. And same function, here is the way which the scrap will come out of the 
after cutting. And the body structure of this production line we use the edge, uh, we use the integrated weld plate to make it more durable and uh, to adapt the weight of the roller casting pillar and we can see our casting pillar thickness is more thick than the others We do not use thin thickness of the casting pillar. So here is the general view of our uh, scaffolding production line. If you have a similar demand or request, just let us know. We will find the best solution for you based on your demands. See you next time.